Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Caroline Chavereau before the UTMB 2018. How are you, Caroline? Uh, fine, and you? Hello. Uh, doing very well, thank you. Uh, you just came in today uh, yes. from one hour away. Yeah, it's not too long journey. Eh? Is it uh, nice to be so close? Yeah, it's nice. It's very convenient. So I could stay quiet at home and doing my stuff and not thinking too much about the race. So it was perfect. Yeah, and I uh, understand that this race is the end of your summer time off. You go back to work on Monday. Yes, I went I had to go back to school and uh, yeah, mm. it went well. Um, I had to prepare at the last minute my lessons because I didn't mm. work enough this summer. Yeah. So, and what, uh, what are you teaching? Uh, history and geography. Uh, for what uh, age? Uh, um, high school. High school, uh, Like okay. uh, 16 to 19. So you will have a, a busy week next week. Yes, I have to work a lot, but it depends how the race goes, but I have also to rest. So. Yeah. Um, you ran Hard Rock last year and you yeah. won, and you've had a sort of a difficult time since then. What, uh, yeah. what has happened? But I did not really know. I was always very tired. When I trained hard, I, I took time to recover, and it went worse and worse and worse, and I never really found a solution. Uh, I tried to rest, but it, it doesn't, it didn't do any effect. Mm -hmm. At first I thought it was overtraining. And finally in June this year, I, I, I find the solution. I had the Lyme disease. Really? Um, I think it's since a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's why it got worse and worse despite the rest. Yeah. So I decided not to wait anymore. I, I started a treatment. Uh, I started it at the bad time because it was just before 90 kilometers of Mont Blanc. Yeah. So I felt really bad for the race. Um, and then it got worse and worse and worse during the summer because when you kill the Borrelia, the, yeah. the bacteria, the, uh, their toxin, they go in the organism everywhere. Yeah. And um, so my, uh, it's a liver. Uh, yeah. It was very bad. So um, in beginning of August, I could not train anymore. Um, the good thing uh, was that I had a lot of time to do activities with my family. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to care about training because I couldn't train. But the bad thing is that uh, I couldn't really train. And two weeks ago, I hesitated. I said, uh, OK, should I go to UTMB or not? Yeah. But then I started to feel better and better. And now I feel really full of energy. Mm -hmm. So I don't have the training, but I think I have the past. I, I, I race since many years. I, I have done long races. I could do some good training uh, since uh, I, st I stopped my uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. I stopped it in the beginning of August. So I could do some long runs. Not too much, but some. <laughs> uh, four, exactly. And, uh, <laughs> it's not a lot, but I think I have the past, I have the experience, experience I have the will. Yeah. So maybe I, it, it's a bit... I thought it was a bit of pity not to try, to yeah. drop without trying. So I want to try and I'm yeah. motivated. As you said, you have lots of experience, uh, both yes. training and racing. Um, in some ways, there were for a number of years, you raced a lot. Yeah, I Is it actually lot. nice to maybe have had a break? Yeah, it, it was nice and also a bit I mean, frustrating yeah. because this summer I was really thinking I could not race any anymore in my life. Okay. And now I, I felt a bit sad because I, I felt it was a pity. Uh, I couldn't do everything I wanted to do. And it was a bit frustrating for me to uh, to take the decision to stop to race uh, forever mm -hmm. just because of a disease, a tick, you know. Yeah. So I was a bit sad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it was also good because I could think about my motivation, what I liked about racing, what I don't don't like huh. and I think now I'm fresh again I, I want to to race and I also understood uh, I don't have to care too much about the results I have to care about uh, 
taking more pleasure yeah. during the race because before I wanted to win, to win, to win, and I was never really satisfied because if I lost uh, five minutes in a 15 hour race, I would be, uh, uh, I could have gone faster, you yeah. know. But now I think I, I will be more quiet. What I want tomorrow is to start uh, in a comfortable pace and to be able to enjoy the race. It's a bit yeah. difficult to say that about UTMB yeah. because it's long, sometimes it's hard, and, but I want to enjoy it as much as possible. And maybe for, yeah, maybe the last 20 or 30 kilometers are hard and you're pushing, yeah, you don't but you can try to enjoy it for yeah, longer. Yeah, and um, try to enjoy it, um, even the suffering, you know, yeah. say, okay, it's an intense experience, it's, uh, I'm lucky to do, that kind of effort, uh, it's uh, full of uh, learnings for the life, for uh, uh, about myself. I have plenty of people who are cheering me, and I, I can also enjoy that, you know. And it's your choice to, yeah, to suffer. Yeah, it's my choice, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm decided to really take, uh, try to take as much pleasure as possible, and not to look at too much about the other people. Yeah. At the end, I think, and that is a look. that's a change. Yeah, that's a change. <laughs> uh, I don't. I know I won't be in front in the beginning. Maybe not during all the race, but uh, I'm decided not to care about that and try to be also more confident about myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, if I am slow, but to, to accept it and uh, to say everybody is slow uh, so at you, a certain point. You could have envisioned or the possibility of. You have a bad race, but you could continue yeah, anyway, yeah, even exactly. if it's because 35 last, hours or... I think so, because last year I dropped, and I, after that I regret to have dropped. It was a bit... I, I was so tired and cold, and I didn't take any pleasure, so I decided to drop. But after, um, I regret it, but because I said I should have tried mm -hmm. and, and see. And this year, I'm decided, even if I'm cold, even if I'm tired, maybe I stop a little bit, I eat, uh, and then I start again. You'll have plenty of time. You can yeah, exactly. go to a checkpoint and relax and exactly. eat if you have to. Yeah. But you could also see yourself having a good day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm optimistic. Um, yeah. Yeah, I hope I, I, I won't be too slow. The condition will be perfect, huh? Uh, compared to 2016, it was way too hot. It was hot, yeah. And um, now it will be fresh. So I think the level of suffering uh, will be uh, yeah. lower. Uh, it will be the same for everyone. But uh, me, I really don't like the heat. Yeah. So I think I will also take more pleasure with uh, good condition, be less thirsty, yeah. and being able to eat more. And it will be more easy. It could be the best weather UTMB has ever had. Maybe a little uh, rain the first night, but... In 2013, it was fantastic. And yeah. It was beautiful and fresh. I think it will be the same. Huh? Uh, so uh, the, the, the setting is being made for you to really enjoy a race. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, I uh, hope you do enjoy it, Caroline, and good you. luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>